Hello everyone and welcome to this brand new series, Project Mud Type, where I've got this 490 pound Jaguar X-Type and I'm going to turn it into the most badass Jaguar X-Type off-roader that man has ever seen. But first, let's hit the road. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is correct. I am now in possession of a glorious Jaguar X-Type that cost me 490 pounds. It is quite possibly the greatest purchase of 2018. There is no rust, the engine is smooth, it runs like an absolute peach. We've got the V6 here with roughly 194 brake horsepower, around 180 pounds foot of torque. Not to 60 in this, probably around, I don't know, eight seconds, but nowadays it's, I mean, it's quite an old car. It's about 15 years old. So we're probably talking about nine or 10 seconds. What can I tell you about this car? Well, it is sumptuous. It is sophisticated, a little bit like me. You look like a getaway driver. Yeah, I do kind of look like a getaway driver. Now, this being a Jaguar, we have to talk about interior luxury. So let's start with the leather. Oh yeah. Oh, that feels so glorious. Leather on leather. We've got a quite a big screen actually with satellite navigation. It is a touch screen. It's a really old school touch screen, so it's not the most sensitive in the world. So this car has been around the block a few times, namely 183,000 miles, which at the press of a button here on my right equates to roughly 295,000 kilometers. We wouldn't really know it from the interior condition. I mean, this fake wood, which looks disgusting, but it's not scarred. There aren't any marks on it. The leather looks good. The steering wheel looks okay. The roof lining here doesn't have all manner of bodily fluids on it, but it will do soon. The only thing that really lets the interior down is this gear knob where you can see that the leather has kind of been worn away after almost 200,000 miles of, uh, of service to queen and country, because this is a true British icon. It's not really a true British icon. That said though, the X-Type is a car that the actual queen used to drive until recently. So if it's good enough for Lizzie, it'll do me nicely too. There are cool things in here that I really do appreciate. I've got a big pocket here. Well, I can show you how big this shelf is. There you go. Look, you can put stuff in there, like, I don't know, three mobile phones. We've got a coat hanger on the on the glove box here, which is pretty cool. Quite nicely finished and the condition is really good and it doesn't smell of dead animals. It is also a one owner car. So I'm gonna feel quite bad completely destroying this car. Well, I say destroying, I'm improving it. But improving it for something that was never intended for. <laughs> Public service announcement. Okay, it's been almost three minutes and I still haven't addressed the elephant in the room. Yes, the X-Type, Jaguar's first ever compact sports saloon, was based on a modified version of the Ford CD132 platform, including Ford engines, which will explain the nice Mondeo mate comments below. But who really cares? Because even with the Mondeo platform, the X-Type featured best-in-class body stiffness, and with 60% of torque going to the rear wheels, it was and still is nice to drive and nothing like the floppy front-wheel drive Mondeo Repmobile. Anyway, let's crack on with the rest of the video. So to give you guys a quick overview of what we're going to be doing in this awesome brand new series, I'm going to be taking this 490 pound Jaguar X-Type. We're going to turn it into an off-roader. We're going to raise the ride height. We're going to put off-road tires on it. We're going to put a snorkel on it. We're going to put a winch on it. We're going to paint it. We're going to turn it into the most badass X-Type the land has ever known and hopefully the world has ever known it's gonna become an icon of 2018 we're gonna completely change its personality from road wafter to off-road weapon well, I like that. That can be the new strap line. Road wafter to off-road weapon. So just like the interior, the exterior condition of the car is actually in really good nick. There is no rust. Well, there's a few little spots of rust, but we're going to gloss over that because I really like rust. You know, it looks like a fairly oldish car, but there aren't any dents. There aren't any scratches. The previous owner of this car obviously looked after it very well. I'm not going to look after it so well. We're probably going to end up tearing out some, if not all of the interior, because uh, lightness is definitely key when you've got something that weighs the earth and you don't want to get bogged down on rocks and stuff, which probably will happen very soon. Oh God, oh God. Hopefully this is gonna be a first and hopefully this will inspire every one of you X-Type owners, including Chris Fix's dad, to do exactly the same. Currently, as you can hear, I'm gonna knock it into second. The V6 is really, it's too muted. But we're gonna be fixing that. We're gonna straight pipe it. I'm even thinking 
side exit exhaust or maybe bonnet exit exhaust that could be pretty cool or maybe i'll just get a piece of pipe and just weld it onto the manifold that could be pretty cool too but either way this car is going to sound like a true v6 race car because off-road so anyway guys i need your help because we need to give this brand new project car a name i'm thinking something like jeffers joffrey consuela what do you reckon archie archie something british you want to go something British? Chester. Chester. Oh, Chester's a nice name. Stacy. Stacy? You can't call a car like this Stacy, mate. You know, Stacy's not, not a girl that you want to meet on a night out because she'll probably come back to your place, you'll have a wild night, and then you wake up and you'll be like, where's my wallet? Write it in the comments. Whatever is going to get the highest vote, we will then take, I don't know, three or four of the top voted names. We're going to then put those names in a poll and then you can decide this car's fate. Will it be called Consuela? Will it be called Susan? Soon we will find out the name of this brand new project car. So without further ado, let us move from the tarmac roads of Great Britain and let's hit the off-road sections and find out how good or how bad this X-Type is in its current all-wheel drive condition. Probably for the first time in any X-Type's life, let's uh, take one of these cars on a green lane and um, test out the four-wheel drive system, test out the clearance. Oh God, I'm sorry, Jaguar. Oh, it hurts me more than it hurts you. Oh, that's painful. Oh God. Ah. Ah. We need more clearance. We need big off-road tires. Oh, we need to be so gentle with this car. I'm going to close my eyes to go off-roading like this. Oh, God. Well, we're getting through. We're definitely getting through, but we're struggling. Ah. Oh, God, I'm sorry. Ah, I'm so sorry. <laughs> now we're stuck. Yeah, we're definitely stuck. Right, let's back it up. Uh, let's take a little bit of a run-up, shall we? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, not quite. I'm doing a sick burnout though. Yeah! Oh, ABS failure. We have an ABS. <coughs> wow. Oh God, it smells like it's on fire. <coughs> wow. <coughs> Tire smoke is one of the most unpleasant things in the world. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that was very short and sweet. Um, the car isn't gonna go any further. So we've got a lot of mods to do. So uh, what do you say? We get cracking and uh, <coughs> we try this out next time. I've still got the ABS failure. I'm gonna have to back it up. So there we have it. Maybe not the best start for the X-Type, but over the course of the next few weeks, we'll make sure it's up for tackling some more challenging terrain and maybe some muddy dirt tracks too. See you next time. Now this being the brand new Megane RS, we have to talk about the looks. At the rear, we've got wide flanks, a big old diffuser, and a twin exit central exhaust just like the original Gangster RS. Moving to the side, you'll see a subtle roof spoiler, 19-inch wheels, front and rear doors, 